guys, it's Jacob from Stringbells here. Stringbellsworld.org being the music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today, and it's the latest track by AJR, and that's Weak. So I'm going to refer to the original articles I usually do for these videos, so I hope you enjoy. So going into this track, I must admit I'm a little bit subdued. Uh, the music that has been released this morning that I'm just getting around to has been shocking at best, and I'm still reeling from how bad Maggie Lindman's last track was. Please watch that review just if anything just to warn you away from that song uh, but I was I actually went into this song with a little bit of hope uh, yeah and some desire to actually hear something that possesses at least some quality behind it so shall we see what I thought of it well I thought it was fine and there are some decent elements here but I did find it very typical the beat and development of the track is really by the numbers and as soon as you hear that first chorus you know exactly what the rest of the track will sound like as it unfolds very stereotypical but having said that I thought the vocal performance was fairly strong and I enjoyed the key change towards the end of the track and there are actually a fair few decent elements here which you can get a great deal of enjoyment out of. What it lacks in originality and individuality it makes up by just being quite a fun time to be honest with you. Production wise I like the synth tones that were incorporated into the track as they gave a slightly different rhythm than your average chorus pad or harmonic layer. They just had this juttery drive to this beehive like sound and it came across as fairly memorable actually. The vocals sound relatively untampered with but the harmonies sound incredibly fabricated and sampled and plastic never really adding too much to the chorus other than just another layer in the stereo field the beat has a fair bit of impact to it with some better sequences it could have been a real hot point for the track but it just sort of narrowly misses out so all in all a very functional production cycle but perhaps not the most memorable one when it comes to the musicality of this track there are some good bits and some bad bits i think it tried hard to separate itself from your usual pop anthem but there are so many little cliche moments here that it does make you feel as if you've heard it all before I think the outrageous and wild vocal performance added a lot into the track showcasing a really quirky and larger than life character to the group which did manage to make me smile a couple times throughout the runtime even on my re-listens I still found more personality and character from the vocalist here so he's done a great job the key change as I mentioned earlier is masterfully executed and seamlessly transitioned the track into what I thought was a very exciting climax and ending one of the better climaxes we've had over the last fortnight uh, yeah don't read too much into that line sure it's hardly technical and as I've already said it is a little bit predictable but it's fun it is fun the song form allows for a decent bridge to be chucked in here and there is enough decoration from section to section to make the whole track worth listening to lyrically the track is more functional than catchy though and other than the hook and the title phrase I can't really remember anything about this track when it comes to the lyrics the themes are fine and I've heard them expressed much better and much worse before so I guess I can let the track off the hook so all in all a fairly standard track with some nice moments chucked in so there is potential there fans will enjoy it and I think if you've got a bit of free time check it out and you might enjoy it so I gave it a G rating of 6 out of 10 which is just above average if you like this video then please leave a like subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time bye bye